All right, hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing here? So yes, there was a bot on the Discord. It is gone. Relax. All right, so all the all the at everyone should be pretty much suppressed now on the Discord. There were a couple that were open that these bots were using anyway. You can go to any Discord server you're on. Go to service. Uh, where is it? Right here. Notification settings. Suppress. All roles and mentions suppress at everyone and at here. So if you don't want to ever have to deal with that on any of the servers you're, you've joined, click that and it will never send you an at everyone. I'd never send out at anyone's. So part of this you can do yourself too. So people are crying, they're getting spammed. I understand it. I got spammed by about four of my channels that I follow this week. It's a bot epidemic going on right now with Discord. Added some more auto mod shit, so maybe it will get fixed, maybe it won't. It's a Discord issue mostly. I've added some other ish, other things to try to s fix it, so see how long that works until the bots do it. You know, it's a commercial business. They're doing this to try to get people to click the links, so they're gonna keep trying to go around it, and then they're gonna have to wait for Discord to fix it, and so back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So shouldn't get any more at anyone's from from my discord anyways but if you ever have that issue right click on it suppress at everyone's then you won't get them i literally got one from a absolutely enormous discord the other day same thing yep auto mod's been set up for months auto mod is only as good as the way discord built it i added something today that somebody gave me to try to suppress um discord invite links but again auto mod's been on for months here it's I got hit by Nubifiers. I got hit by Stank Rats this week. I got hit by a couple others that, uh, so it's not just me that's having this problem. A bunch of the discords are dealing with bots. So just right click on it and suppress that everyone. Don't click on the link, report it to Discord, and all I have to do is ban them. So people freaking out for no reason, just don't click on the fucking link. Suppress it, everybody. That's all you got to do. Yeah, there should be no at everyone's left on my on my Discord. Yeah, again the Discord goes on fine for a couple of years, and then the bots find a way to get around it, and then start screwing with it. So there's no more at ever at anyone's on my Discord, so shouldn't have to worry about it anymore. <clears throat> All right, the other thing, um, Zulu time. People are confused with Zulu time. Zulu time should be the least confusing time of all times. Zulu time is universal time zulu time is the same time no matter where you live so i put this purposefully on every one of my build challenges so you can go off zulu time all right zulu time what does zulu time mean it is the military name for utc same thing greenwich mean time it's the standard time sometimes referred to as geographical fixed time across time zones that means while it will be 4 p.m in atlanta but 3 p.m in fort worth the Zulu is the same. All right. So whatever your time zone is, you do the conversion. So Zulu time conversions. All right. This is the easiest way to do it. All right. If you're in Greenwich, England, it is the same time. You go forward and back based on the date lines. All right. So, for example, here's UTC. Here's Eastern Daylight Time. You also have uh, Eastern Standard Time. We look here, Eastern Standard Time, which is what we're on in the winter, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, now, that's where I am. You subtract four hours, all right? So my current time is 12.33. So in Greenwich, England, it should be 16.33, all right? So go off to Zulu time. That's why it's there on the build challenges. We had some people who can't figure out Zulu time. All right, that's what Zulu time's all about. So you go off Zulu time. All right, so let's look at the build challenge here. Where are we at here? All right, build challenge right here. Due date is April 20th, 000 EST 0400 Zulu. So if you live in Greenwich, England, you have until 0400 on Saturday to submit your build. All right, if you live in, let's see, the panhandle of Florida, right? You have till, how oh, would that be one hour back? So that would be um, 11 or 2300 EST 
to turn in your build. If you're on the west coast of the of the U.S., it would be four hours off that, so it would be 2,000 EST. All right, it would be PST on that one, Pacific uh, Standard Time. But uh, yeah, so just convert up the Zulu time. You know, if you're one hour ahead of Greenwich, England, right, you would have um, 0,500. You know, so that's why the Zulu time is there. So I see some people have no clue what Zulu time is. That's what Zulu time is. There's the Google machine. What is Zulu time? And the Google machine will tell you. And then you can get all these nice cool conversions. And you can figure out what is my time in Zulu. What is my time in Zulu? That's the Google machine. 4.35 p.m. That is what my time is in GMT. GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, UTC, Zulu, all the same thing. So that's how you do it. Saw a bunch of people all confused again. Didn't know what time it's done. Zulu time is perfect time. No matter where you are in the entire universe, it is always that time. All right. Other, you know, aliens would probably argue with our system. But um, that's, that's why we use UTC. All right. That's why... Military uses Zulu. That's why pilots use Zulu. Is you cross if you're crossing uh, time zones all the time, you go ahead and you go by Zulu, and everybody's on the same time. So that's why it's there. All right, let's catch up with some chat here. Yep. So again, public service announcement number eight. I'm using Restream now because I'm using Restream. It's going to show build. Uh, career build series 66 until I go in and manually change it. The way it used to work was just stream with YouTube. You can go in and change that episode first. Now with Restream, it's going to show that old episode until I manually go in and change it on both there and on Twitch. So just be patient. It will pop up with something else. Uh, wait more than 30 seconds and usually I get it done within a couple minutes. So that's why it's showing... 66. That's why it showed 66 for the last month or so now. So that's why it's doing that. If I can find a way to make it not do that, I will. Let's see. Read some more chat here. Yes, I've set up AutoMod, Spartan. AutoMod, like I said, has been set up for over a month now. It's many, I like I said, a bunch of the different discords that I've, I'm a member of keep pinging me with links, too. You know what you do? Again, very simple. Come in here. Let's see. I will actually do it to the one that pinged me the other day, right? So I have a Star Citizen 1 that I follow. Where is it? Where are you at, Nubifier? Uh, where's Nubifier? I don't see Nubifier. There, right down here. So here's Nubifiers, right? Nubifier is one of the ones that I um, subscribe to. He got hit with bots the other day. You go suppress everyone in at here, and now you will get no notification for at everyone I had here. So I will never send in at everyone. You know, I got hit with Stank Rat the other day. Stank Rat is a huge um, Tarkov streamer. Go there, suppress at everyone in at here. And likely, you know, changed it. So a lot of the, even the big discords are having problems right now with them sending bots. So it's going to take time for them to fix it. I've done what I can to try to secure mine. But don't click on the links. You know, see a sus suspicious link. Don't interact with them. Just freaking ignore it. Yep, you know, people click on these links. I don't know why you click on a suspicious link from the internet. You know, I have it on my Discord. It sh will tell you. It will warn you of if you click on a dis if a, if you uh, click on a uh, strange link. It will say, do you really want to click on this link? I would suggest you don't. How's it going there, Sergeant? Good to see you. You know, it literally took me two seconds to get rid of the person. Right click, ban. Delete all messages for the last seven days. Gone. So it's not a big deal. 
No, you guys shouldn't get at everyone's anymore. I've killed at everyone on every channel. So I went through. If you guys see any channels that you should be able to view, like, um, you know, uh, David sent me one that was uh, he couldn't get into build discussion. I, I went through every friggin' permission on every friggin' channel because of these goddamn bots and um, fixed every one of them. So I might have screwed some of them up. You know, they have both headline permissions and then they have uh, permissions for each channel. So I had to go through all of them. So if you see any that uh, you should be in that you can't be in or you, you can do things you're not supposed to be doing, a couple guys have pointed them out. Just uh, let me know. Yep. CG's in England, so it makes it um, easy. So, you know, back when uh, Great Britain ruled the world, they uh, decided that they were the center of the universe, and that became GMT. It's the most convenient way to do all time. Like, pilots, we read. Here, I'll bring up some weather. Continue on this. Let's see. Um, cars, TAF, uh, KBOSS. After this, all right. All right. So this is how pilots read their weather. Um, let's see. Oh, this is converted weather. I don't want converted weather. I want uh, non-converted weather. All right. Here's a TAF right here. Okay. This is the part that the. This is what pilots read for weather. This is unconverted. We generally read the um, the the uh, encoded weather. So this is what pilots' weather looks like. This is the Taft Terminal Aerodrome forecast for Boston Logan International. This is the 18th day of the month, right? April 18th at 1500 Zulu, okay? So you add four, right? So that is going to be 1641 is the current time. So this came out at 3 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. GMT or 11 o'clock my time, all right? So that's what time it came out. It came out at 11 o'clock. Today, um, so from 1500 Zulu on today to 1918 Zulu, the wind will be at 08012 knots, plus six statute mile visibility. Um, uh, very scattered showers, overcast at 5,000 feet. From today at 2100 Zulu, so what do we do? We subtract four from that, right? So uh, 1700. So 5 p.m., wind will be at 0808 knots, plus six actual miles overcast at uh, 4,000. 4, uh, is it 4? It's got to be 4,000. I'm looking at it now. Yeah. Uh, temporary uh, today at 21 to today at midnight. Light rain showers overcast at 3,500 3, from tomorrow, 1,300 Zulu. Again, what do you do? You subtract 4, 11. No, it wouldn't be 11. It would be, uh, let's see, be uh, 9, 9 a.m. 080 at 7 knots plus 6 statue miles broken, 5,000 foot. So that's what Zulu is all about. And the reason you do that is when you cross a time zone, you don't have to worry about uh, the times being wrong. You just go off Zulu. It's all the same. That's why pilots and military use Zulu. But that's why I put it on there is you convert your own time to whatever it is you don't have to worry about converting to eastern standard time you know what it citrus what do you like you said two hours ahead of uh, gmt so you know citrus is in Tomorrowland, so he will have uh until if you're two hours six six a.m saturday morning citrus can uh post his build BST in Greenwich. Well, it's UTC. So, what's the current time? Current UTC time is 16:44 p.m. Current time. You convert you'd convert Greenwich, England into GMT time. Yeah. So there's probably yeah, there's probably a difference. Again, I don't know the local times for Greenwich, but the, you go off the UTC. That's again, this is why it's confusing if you go off of local time. There's no point in going off local time. Go off of GMT. UTC time right there. Zulu, all the same thing. UTC, GMT, Zulu, all the same thing. 
All right, so go off it. 1644. It doesn't matter if you're in Australia at 1644. It doesn't matter if you're in the U.S. at 1644. In Russia, 1644. In uh, Guam, 1644. It's all the same time. That's why I use it for the build challenges. City Sky is line two, and it's actually, people say it's a possible profit and harm. Yeah, you know, what I heard with City Skyline 2 is I, I enjoyed, like, I used to love those city builders, but um, I played a little City Skyline 1. A lot of people get annoyed with that, too, because City Skyline had a lot of DLC, and they bought the DLC, and then they get the new game, and then they would have to rebuy all that again. So um, I think that's part of people are annoyed with that as well. But I haven't really followed City Skylines 2. You know, yeah, you don't want to go off Greenwich, England, the town. It's called GMT because it started off of Greenwich, England, you know, as a universal time. Yeah, that's why we call it, call it Zulu uh, for pilots. That's what the Z is in that, um, in the weather there. The Z is Zulu. UTC is the exact same thing. GMT is the same thing. Probably. Oh, is that <laughs> asking if I go blind because I'm zooming in the weather? Is mainly trying to get it on the screen. I, I could read it. I've got better than 2020 in both eyes. But um, yeah, I could read it fine, zoomed out. It was just so you guys could see it. Here, we'll do a reading test. Taff, K Boss from 18, uh, 1500 Zulu, 18, 15 to 1918, 080 at 12 knots, plus statue miles. <laughs> so I can read that fine from sitting back in my seat. So my eyesight is fine, mostly just so you guys can see it on the screen. But uh, yeah, all these Zs here, that's Zulu time. That's why we use Zulu time. Z right there, Zulu. And then every time is after that. You notice it tells you what time it came out in Zulu. And then from then on, it does not put the Z anymore because it said, hey, I already told you we're talking Zulu time here. And so it doesn't put it up again. So this is how they do the, um, you know, like up here it converts. It says from 19 at 1300Z. So if you want to find that, right, you go from 19, 1300Z is right there. So these two parts are the same. This is decoded weather and this is encoded weather. So, like, when we used to print the weather out, we printed it out on the printer in the cockpit. This is what it looked like. And so, like, all the main things we cared about when we were taken off was, like, you say, okay, what time is it now? You look at your watch. I had my watch would read uh, my local and Zulu. And so I just look, Zulu, and you'd see, okay, it's currently, uh, you know, current time here is going to be 1648 Zulu. So we don't have to worry about that. That's later. And the TAF is later. METAR is what the current weather is. So if you look at the current METAR, uh, it's the 18th at 1554 Zulu. All right, so this came out, this is about an hour old. So these come out every hour. So this one's almost an hour old. It'll be an hour old in, what are you talking? Six minutes. So this one should be updated soon. And it's uh, wind is 080 at 10, 10 statute mile visibility broken at 6,000, overcast at 7,000. Uh, what's that? Not sure what that is. Altimeter is 3018. Remarks uh, AO2. That uh, that's we don't you don't need to worry about that. That's um, that stuff you don't need to worry about. That's just the remarks section. They'll put like say there's a tower crane seven miles from the airport at 300 feet, so you don't hit the crane. Uh, there's an unlighted um, building at this coordinates. You know, they'll do that shit in the remarks section. Generally, we ignore the remarks. But uh, this is what we care about as pilots is uh, you look at the time, make sure it's the current one. You say, oh, it's going to update in now five minutes. So you say, okay, let's ignore this, and we'll get the new weather in five minutes because this is old. So that's old weather. You'd wait. And so in five minutes, we'd print out the new ATIS, and uh, it would tell us that wind is at 08010, so we know that they're likely in Boston. We'll, stay, we'll stick on this topic for a sec. 
Okay, boss. Airport. Diagram. Yeah, that's trying to find the, a good airport diagram for Boston here. All right, so there's the airport diagram for Boston. All right, so wind 080, right? So they're going to be taking off into the wind. All right, so that's 40 degrees off of here, right? So likely they're probably running uh, four right and four left because the wind's coming off of here. So take off four right, four left. So taxi out, expect four right and four left. And then as you come in, you're going to be uh, putting right aileron in as you take off, and you expect that the plane is going to kick to the right when you uh, take off. So you'd, you'd be going down the runway with right aileron, and you'd take off. So that's what you care about as a pilot. You care about visibility. If you look at the vis on there, uh, you have 10 statute miles visibility. That means you're legal to take off. All right, if you had... Uh, less than you know one it would give you runway visual range and if your RVR is too low you can't take off if you're uh, for example I could take off as long as I had uh, 600 600 600 I could take off let's say the uh, the clouds are overcast at um, 150 feet I could take off I could take off but I can't come back and land because I need it I need the clouds to be well, 150 you might be able to get in Let's say there were a slam there, 50 feet. It could take off with 50 feet as long as you have visual RVR, which you're probably not going to have, but um, you, you wouldn't be able to come back and land. So you know you're not going to be able to come back to Boston. So you'd want to check, okay, can I go somewhere else? You know, uh, and that's that's important. Like, that's about it that's really important on that weather. That's what we were mostly checking for on that weather. Thunderstorms, stuff like that. What am I going to build today? A uh, fishing boat. Yeah. All right. Thanks, uh, Sarge. I'm going to have to keep an eye on Twitch chart. Uh, how's it going there? Stone Wolf Dark. Thank you. appreciate you guys for hanging out there as well. Um, if you guys are on both and I uh, don't chat on you on Twitch, I'm going to keep Twitch up because uh, for some reason, Restream is not showing the Twitch messages on uh, the chat. I'm supposed to combine the chats. Uh, thank you again, uh, Stone Wolf, for that game. I played way too late last night doing that. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. It was a cool game. We'll probably do some streaming on that. Yep, the British were the center of the empire in their own opinion, uh, center of the uh, earth, center of the universe in their own opinion for quite a while. Okay. They did think they were the center of the universe, though, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Most uh, most of the um, most of the computer stuff is uh, does some of that sort of stuff too. What's the other one? There's one that has like some 1970 time. Okay. Do, oh, yeah. So GMT does have the conversion. Copy. Yeah, that's. We never use GMT. We use just Zulu or UTC. So that would make sense. Good to know. That's why I just put everything in Zulu anyway. Zulu is the is the constant time. Well, I'm yapping about the time because we got people bitching in uh, build challenge that they don't know what time to finish the build. And, oh, my God, I got screwed last time because I can't convert my own time. So that's why we're talking about it. And if you don't like the yapping Spartan, you can uh, go ahead and leave, too, if you like. It's fine. Nobody's holding you here. Uh, what game it is, uh, or something. Let me figure the name out. I don't have the or. It is uh, Out of War, so I'll show you this, guys. This is a cool game. 
So, Stone Wolf was nice enough to give me this yesterday. This is a cool game. Um, it's by the uh, mod team that used to mod Farming Sim. So, uh, it's a cool game. Let me see the store page and find some pictures. So, it's uh, you do a bunch of mining. So, there is, um, you know, you have front end loaders, you have excavators, you have open uh, pit trucks, bulldozers. Uh, you can do some underground mining uh, machines. And so uh, it's pretty cool. It's got uh, voxel terrain, and you can scoop up the soil. Soil's made up of different components like coal and different metals, uh, different types of dirt. And you can uh, build uh, some, you know, stationary machinery. Let me see if there was a picture of one right, right here. Like you can build these conveyor belts, and you can um, dump in hoppers. And so you'll go, you'll pick up the dirt, you can dump in there. It will convey up. You can spread it out in the constituent elements. Then you can say, for example, take iron ore, mix it with uh, coal in a furnace, make steel. You can then. So this is the, kind of what I talk about in. Um, this is what I talk about in. That would be cool for Stormarks too. Is that uh, you can do step. You can do step prog progression. So for example, I could scoop up iron ore. I can dump it in and separate out the iron ore. And I can just sell iron ore for, say, a dollar. Or I can smelt that iron ore into iron ingots and sell it for two dollars. Or I can take those iron ingots and I can mix them with coal and make them steel ingots and sell them for three dollars. Or I can take these steel ingots and I can press them into steel plates and I can make, get four dollars. Or I can uh, take those, put them on a CNC machine and turn them into gears and get ten dollars. You know, so it, it has that stepped uh, production method that I like because at any point you can say, I don't want to go all the way through the process. I'll just sell the iron ore. I'll just sell the gold as ore instead of making ingots. So you can go as deep or as uh, shallow as you want with each uh, component. But it's pretty cool. It was a, I played way too late last night and then woke up to the stupid bot bullshit. So. All right, let's catch up, uh, finish up with chat, and we'll get off this. Yeah, it's a cool game. It's by uh, what is it, the North Modding Team. Uh, yeah, I forget the. Let me find the exact name here. Uh, North Modding Company AB. They were the North Modding Company for Farming Sim, and so they made a lot of uh, like construction equipment. Uh, there were uh, mod developers. There's been a lot of mod developers who come out from the from the games, and then they end up making their own games, which is cool. All right, so let's start looking at some uh, builds here. Again, two more days. Everybody knows the time now when the build challenge is done. Let's see. Um, I wish there were, there used to be, see, there are a bunch of, let's look at a bunch of these Damon fishing uh, vessels here. So there's the beam trawler, there's the long line fisheries, there's the pot fisheries. So we're probably going to stick with the long line for nets. Uh, this one thing is cool. Let me show you guys the, the thing. This is one thing that's cool with the way that the devs are kind of doing this is, you know, they, they talked about how they wanted to do some smaller, smaller updates you know to make sure they're less buggy to make sure that they're more complete and i think that's the right way to do it i think the dev team's too small to come out with a big thing and they can't really afford to be screwing the game up for months again and so by doing nets now i hope we get pots next um but the cool thing is like say we get a couple you know the the major uh major updates are uh, quarterly. So about every three months we get a major. We get the last one December, uh, January 30th, I believe. And then this one's going to be May 8th. And so you figure three months off that, um, you know, probably August-ish area. Uh, and so if we get them every three months, the cool thing is like, you know, people are going to take the time, build the ships. It's going to take you quite a while to get your ships and kind of get uh, to the point where you're kind of bored or satisfied with that particular thing and then so the cool thing is hopefully if they go into the next uh, type of fishing after that like let's say they go to pots you know you don't feel like 
you know, imagine if we got all the fishing now. Well, you you know, you'd build a beam trawler, and then you're kind of like bored with fishing, and so are you gonna go build a pot fisher? I think it's a better way to like, in three months, are we gonna be bored of nets? Maybe, and then oh, let's let's build a different boat for pots. You know, so I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I really wanted to do pots, but uh, we're gonna start with beam trawlers. So, be kind of cool. Yeah, let's look at that long liner too. Damon's website's not the best. So here's a long liner. Uh, Damon has some cool, cool vessels. I like Damon's vessels. So we just uh, Damon likes to spread my personal information. So let's make sure I move that over. Okay. One thing that kind of is a pain in the ass is that the um, the long the um, the beam trawler has the worst information of the boats. I think it's their newest entrant, and so um, you know I'm trying to find the yeah like the other ones have really good. Uh, pro there's a product sheet. Let's see if the product sheet's terrible again. I'll bring that back up and if we can see it. Yeah, the product sheet's pretty bad for this one. Like, usually Damon has really good product sheets. This one's pretty bad. Comparatively. So, like, this one, like, you see how low res these are? But we can uh, we can build our own stuff. Like, this one's really, this one's uh, pretty good. Like, this one's a little bit higher res. You can see, you know, the componentry. I think some of these, they don't build many of them. So, these aren't great. But, um... That's what I like with Damon is you can get in there and measure and use the schematics and you've got all the information there. So we'll build this um, beam trawler here. So it's good size, 37.95. So let's go ahead and look. Let's get that going. All right, so that is the length. How's the music? Is the music too loud or is it good? Uh, beam is 8.5. See how the music pop up. That music doesn't look too bad to me. If, if it's too loud for you guys, let me know. Hey, we'll go a little bit. I usually go, a, if I have to go wide, I'll go one wider than one shorter. So that's, um, actually, we could probably get, yeah, th we're going to go one wider on it because it's, um, it's 8.5. We're up to 8.75, so that's one block wider. Let's do that. So that looks like the length to beam ratio. That looks pretty good. Should be pretty good on that length to beam ratio. Sometimes we need to convert a little bit for the game. That's not too bad, comparatively. See if I can get that product sheet up. So look at kind of the hull design here. So it's got an interesting hull design, which I like. So kind of look at these picks. Pretty rounded bow here, but it does come up a little bit pointy at the top. You can see the the uh, the decking here. This is the upper level. That's the lower levels. So this is the overhang, and then this is pretty pointy under here. So we'll try to come pointy, and we'll try to come up a little bit on it. We'll see where we can get there. So I'm trying to... Might build this a little bit differently where I do the deck plate and then go up, down, and then we'll trim the rear. That's what I think I'll do. So we'll I'll start at the deck plate right here at the... Um, the water line and then we'll go up and then we'll go down and then I'll trim the size and then we'll do the stern so do it kind of like that I think that's gonna be a little bit better Let's improve my methodologies here All right, let's see. catch up with some shade here real quick
Uh, no, they haven't confirmed it. Um, I don't think they're going to talk about this stuff until like they did uh, about a month before it came out. We're three weeks out till the update. They pretty much said the first things they were going to say about it last week that, hey, we're going to announce the uh, major next week. And so they come out about like a month to three weeks, somewhere around there when they announce what it's going to be. But, but yeah, they're not going to openly confirm that stuff, I don't think. It builds up too much hype. It gets people, um, you know, the big thing is you build up a bunch of hype of what's coming next. At, you're always going to let people down because their imagination is going to go tenfold what you could actually do. And then they, um, and then people are disappointed. If you just kind of like come right out with it, what you're going to have, people are generally satisfied with it. All right, let's see. Um, so let's make this the main deck here. Let's see how do we want to do this. I'm just kind of looking at the shapes of it off screen. All right, so let's go there. Let's start cutting. That's going to be too, too small of a slope. Let's see. We're probably talking four on this one. Let's cut a four in there. See, trying to get the decking uh, correct here. So we got a pretty standard point going on there. Okay, that's looking pretty good to how it is IRL. Trying to keep the shaping kind of how it is IRL. And there's not too much uh, information in the actual uh, schematics of where we need to go as far as, uh, you know, where the fish, where the uh, w wells are for the fish. But it kind of see in some of the pictures on deck where they're going. So that's looking pretty good for the um, for the decking level. All right, and then so we go pretty much from there into a one banger down into slopes. So let's uh, start putting that in. Yeah, that's probably too much there. Let's go into yeah. That's too much of a transition. Let's do a two banger. But, you know, giving us a good three weeks heads up is nice on this, especially seeing that boats can take a little while to build. So you know, we're not going to have all the information of what we are going to need. But I think we're going to have plenty where, you know, kind of know the general shape of the ship. They showed, like, what the rigging looks like for the nets. So we kind of know how to set up the rigging, uh, you know, at least to start setting up the rigging. And then... Uh, you know, things like fish finder we're not going to know about yet. But, you know, again, if we buy the information of where the fish are going to be, 
should at least be able to go out there and start and just kind of trolling around and then build fish finders, um, get them set up later. Yeah. Uh, gonna be a pain in the ass, huh? Right there. that one right, let's drag it all right so this is all underwater pretty much underwater line stuff that we're working on right now see how this goes actually for quite a ways probably about let's say there did not mean press k there we go So let's measure inside. We gotta see like what a human being height is in here. That is a seven. So we want at least two more to get us under the deck level. So we gotta keep that in mind. Let's see. Can't really switch out on that part there. Kind of committed to this. That's fine. Stay committed to this. We'll see how it looks. If I need to change it, I can. So let's go at least down two more. Yeah, I'm trying not to get too picky about under here because this is literally underneath the water the entire time, so...
go. Let's see. Got a seven banger. That should be nine now. That's an eight banger. Okay, so we're actually we're good. Go. Let's see. This in here. Tend to go pretty square on the bottom of my ships just because it gives you so much extra buoyancy and it's easy to put things in because of course they're gonna have thin little walls on a rail ship and then in game they're gonna be these thick old walls that are like a meter thick so by kind of squaring them out you can kind of hide that stuff it's not too too bad let's go doubles on these there we go and a nice flat bottom. The game likes a flat bottom better, so. And I'm just going to square this off so we can do start getting float tests going. I always kind of square it off, then cut the transmin after. Kind of find that works better for me. So this is just the up to the to the main deck. Yeah, I bring it in the world, see what the scaling looks like, see what the floating looks like so far. Okay. All right, size-wise, that's pretty good. Should be good for multiplayer. Nice. Good bit of buoyancy. We're get, gonna add it quite a bit on top, so. That should sink down all the way to this deck, essentially. So all that, most of this should be underwater. So good room for ballasting and everything else. I'm going to cut the length. The length's going to go up because this is now coming forward for me. But um, all right, good. So that part's done up to there. Then we're looking at, I say, go to two bangers up. The front of this boat is very high. And it kind of goes two banger, two banger. Probably out to one bangers at that point. So I would say we can get our character into the front lockers. So let's say probably looking at least there. So I'm kind of going from like the exact measurements of the vessel to what we need in game as far as to do the game things, you know. So, yeah, because again, it makes something perfectly the way it needs to be IRL. It's not necessarily going to translate to the game to where, like, your player character is going to be. Like, for example, a lot of games, the um, your player doesn't feel comfortable being in an area that is as short as we'd be happy to be in IRL. Like, if you have an eight-foot ceiling in real life, it feels fine. You have an eight-foot ceiling in game, it feels uh, too confining because you don't have the same perception you have. So... Sometimes you got to make some of those things to gamify it so that it feels comfortable in game. All right, let's go. Are we on a twos? We're on a twos there. Right, so that'll be there. Okay, perfect. So there's a big lip on this ship.
takes extra time when I take my hand off the, off the keyboard and put it in the wrong spot. Ah, what did I just delete? The random deletes are never fun. You're like, why is that not there? Just randomly deleted something. That's good. That's taking shape nicely. All right, that's taking shape nicely. I'm digging on it. So I'm liking the way that's coming out here. This might be a little square up here than I'd like, but we'll see how I see how it turns out when I get a deck on there. And we kind of gonna get dressed with railings and everything anyway. Cut you there. All right, so that is the bow there. I'm trying to see how far back that goes. Cut it to here, maybe. Again, it's going to be inspired by. I'm going to do some of my own things. We have to make sure we have enough room for all the equipment uh, that's going to be in the game there. And then we have to worry about the way the staircase is actually working game. So. That comes down probably at a two. And I'd like a three rail, especially in the front. even a four rail in the front. All right, that feels proportional. That feels pretty good. Let's see if there's any back decking space in this. There's not a really a lot of pictures of this boat itself. It's kind of, there's no real back walkways on this at all. And so we'll start kicking in a transom, I think. Single screw on this. Let's go two off the deck.
single screw is a lot easier to put into. I usually like to do a multi screw, but this is a single screw, so it's gonna be a lot easier to get that plumbed in. See the overall length? I lengthened this a little bit, so I want to check it. Doesn't have to be precisely this boat, but good to have reference. Looks proportional if we use reference material. All right, what do we have to? 39.75. Okay, that's fine. We'll shrink the center section once I get the, the, the stern fixed up the way I want it. Okay. Come on, drag you sucker. Drag you sucker. There you Do a real square uh, ass for now. We'll put in the um, put in the uh, propeller and everything else. Make sure we have enough space for it. It's hard to judge the space without just putting it in. So we'll put that in. Put the rudder in. Then we can curve a little bit if we want. But we'll make sure the parts that we need are in, and then the superfluous parts that we don't actually need, we don't have to worry about. All right, good. So that's. And it's gonna get a chunk taken out of the middle, but we'll wait on that. Okay. So the uh, the living quarters actually go all the way to the stern here. There's no walkway on the stern on this particular boat. Pretty shapely modern design on this one. All right, let's get that uh, screw put in there. I almost never do a central screw. Let's see, um, see what it has for a propeller. And then I'll check some chat here. I've been kind of out of chat, but we've been moving pretty well here. So catch up with chat, and then I'll check propeller after that. Yeah, they said it's going to be, you know, fishing's going to be over um, multiple major updates. So I would say that, um, yeah, I think it's a good strategy. Get it out. Make sure it works all right. Then come out with the next one. You know, because, for example, if, like, the community, like, gets bored of fishing really quickly, which I doubt they will, but if they did, the devs could pivot and do something else. You know, you invest too much in something that's not super super well received it's a problem you can make a lidar uh, some people have lidars on the workshop which it uh, rotates and then it paints wherever the uh, returns are yeah that's the thing that I like CG is you can see the uh, blueprints which is nice Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be valuable, uh, different values at different sell points. That See, that's something that I had asked for in my video. For example, like if you have cold water fish, they shouldn't be worth more in the Arctic. They should be worth more down south, you know. Yeah, it's going to be multiple streams.
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is the worst one I've seen from Damon. The detailing is very low. Like some of these these boats, I don't think they've actually built yet. And so they kind of put it up as like, hey, we could build this for you if people are interested. And uh, so then they, you know, it uh, could be that. Where, uh, you know, they actually don't have too much. Um, yeah, they don't have any built examples. So they don't have good schematics yet. But yeah, the detailing is pretty bad on that compared to the other ones. Viscera cleanup, yeah. We'll see you later, Erasmus. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, it is a trawler. It's uh, what? Let me see the exact uh, term that the um, Damon's using. It is a beam trawler, I believe. Yep, beam trawler. So it's going to put nets out on either side and then drag the nets. Good sergeant's back. Yeah, it uses bullets. It, bullet as its physics engine. That's why when I talk, like, sometimes, like, people want them to rewrite all the physics. It's like they are in another engine and some things, like, they might not be able to do, you know. Uh, no catching whales. Hello, uh, Owl. How are you? Yeah, I don't know if it counts as a as a purse scene or not. No, it's beam trawler. We'll have to see how they work in game when they come out. All right, good. caught up chat. Let's see. So it, the nets go off either side. All right, let's get a prop in here. It has a prop guard on it, so I kind of need to keep that in mind. See, this is the problem: was we get the fucking sizes are not great. I see where I'd have to drop the height a little bit. And then it has a prop guard on it. Let's see what the I'm not gonna I might not use the pitchables, but let's see. Let's see what a reg pitch prop as for length remember the pitchable props are gonna be problems with the rudders because the um they have a collision on them they have a, a weird collision uh they like they try to grab it so it's a problem so yeah giant's gonna be better in that case all right let's run a giant see what i can get in for a prop guard and see if we can knock it in there if it's a pain in the ass to the prop guard we'll go without not necessarily it's not just a prop guard it's a um I forget what they're called. They actually like help to funnel the um, the thrust nozzle. And uh, not nozzle. I forget what they're called. That's not too bad, but the issue I run into then is the... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to go through on that. So let's try this. See if we can build this up and have it still work for me. Oh, it 
doesn't like that at all. Shit, I need it there. I could I can cover that with XML. Try not to inflate it too much, so. Starting to be a, be a big piece of XML in there. More prop size dips, please. You're gonna be a real pain in the balls, aren't you? There. the hell do you hit there? Where is it hitting exactly? Right there. Okay, that's not bad. We can fix that. Where is it hitting in? There, okay. Yeah, and this is all underwater too, so it's like trying not to get too precious. Fuck you. Yeah, right there. That's that needs to be up one higher. Okay. Trying not to be too precious with it because it's gonna be um, underwater, but still kind of want things to look the way I want them to look, you know.
Let's see if we can push this in the bottom. We'll see. Content with that, and then let's see. on this. Where's the deck? Right. So let's put mark the deck here. So that's where we really need to go to. Alright, this is the deck here. Let's put a let's put a line on there. Yep, that's it. Okay. Ah, you suck. There we go. Start working this to see what I want to do. I'm gonna work the center first, but I'm gonna see if we can work the center first here. Too, but I think we're all right so far. Play with it a little bit. Again, keep it a little bit square. Then I'll be re in real life because there's no real point. Um, I lose buoyancy by doing this. I don't. So.
that and keep the height, I think. Step back in a little bit. Let's see if I can join that up there. Gotta go like that. Probably could come up one more on this. Let's do that. Definitely some interesting commentary on the uh, the update yesterday. A lot of stuff way out there in what left field. So I'm digging on that. That came out pretty good. Go to you here. Guess that integrates pretty good there. Chat and see. No, thank you. Glad you like it, Amanda. Uh, let me see what they're called. I, I forget what they're called. I try to keep these terms in my head sometimes. Let me catch up with uh, Twitch chat. Like I said, it's not showing, so. Yep, uh, Stonewolf's talking about the, um, the ore game. Uh, you can build processing plants, which is really cool. I think that's awesome. Uh, they made a bunch of logging and construction stuff in 19, which was great. You know, but played a lot last night and really enjoyed it. Talking about having um, multiplayer, which I think is gonna be cool, being able to like run around in uh, in excavators and loaders and run in the facility would be kind of cool. So 
So if you want, so Stonewolf's asking, why can't I run my head around building a generator microcontroller that turns the engine off at 100 battery but starts it at 90? Let's quickly save this. Let's see. Um, what is this called? Beam trawler. So, like, uh, do this quite a bit myself. If you want to... So you essentially want to do an up-down counter. You're making a switch for it, and then you have your conditions for the switch. So, like, real simple, getting in there. Like, um, you know, so he wants it to shut off at 100, but only turn back on at 90. So, like, let's do input bat. On off, number input. Um, so that's, like, we'll just do that to start. But anyway, so you, um, you have your battery in here, right? So you're going to read the percentage of your battery. And so, um, you could do a boolean. Right, so what you could do, we don't even need the boolean. Let's go up down counter, um, enable that. So just do uh, one and zero, zero, one. Uh, make the increment one, right? So you want to set up your conditions for when it turns on the generator. So you're saying that you want it to turn off at 100 but starts at 90, so it would not run between 90 and 100. So real simple if you're, um, so if your battery is less than, put your set condition here. So let's see, gen on 90%, do a pulse. So if the battery is less than uh, 90%, it's going to click this up, and that will count up to a 1. So 1 is gen on, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is if the battery is, um, you know, you could do this a bunch of ways. But let's say you do, if the battery is at 1, you reset it. So as soon so what that's going to do is and then you do your threshold condition 1 So what's going to happen is when the battery dips below 90%, right? It's going to click it up once and this is going to read a 1. 1 is the on condition. So if it's 1, it turns on your generator. So your generator is going to run until it's shut off. It's going to shut off once you hit 100. So once you hit 100 here, it goes and it resets it. Now you could also do a you could just do pulse and go to the down as well, but reset works just as well. So what's going to happen is now your battery resets this, and now we're at zero. So the threshold is currently reading zero because we hit 100%, right? So you charge up your battery. It's at 100. Uh, let's say we start. Like, we start. We haven't turned on the engine yet. So we turn on all the stuff. The battery starts depleting, right? So we start at a zero. So the generator is off. All right, that's gen off. All right. And so what's going to happen is when we uh, go down to 95%, gen still off. When we go down to 90%, gen still off. As soon as we get below 90%, what's going to happen is this is going to send one pulse through, one click. It's going to go to one. It's going to turn the generator on. Generator is going to run from 90 until it hits 100. Once it hits 100, it's going to reset it back to zero, shut it back off. So that makes sense. We'll just I'll update that and leave in case you want to look at it again. But that's really simply how you do it. Uh, up down counters are good for running, uh, making switches with multiple conditions you want. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think the propeller came out pretty good. Again, all this is underwater, so it's like I'll, I'll pay, spend all this time doing this, and it's like you're never going to see it, but, you know, you know you built it, so that's the thing. <laughs> kind of makes you want to make it look pretty good.
There we go. So that's a little bit more integrated and grabby there. I like that. Okay, we're never gonna even see that. But that's that lined up where I wanted it. Um, back deck's a little bit thin, but we have so much. This is why again, uh, why I built super square, much square than you would IRL, is we have so much buoyancy here. We, then we can put a ton of weight blocks, and we can balance out to have a real thin transom, and we have no problems with a thin transom. So that's why I tend to do it. Um, one, two, three, four. See what I want to do here. So, Stone Wolves, that makes sense. Yeah, maybe I'll make a tutorial on something like that at some point. That will be a good idea. I really, I think one of the best tools in the game is the um, up-down counter because it really allows you to do a lot of conversions, converting your systems to work the way you want them to. Might go. So what I, I tend not to work in the middle section till later, and the whole reason I'm not touching that middle section, that middle section is my correction area. So as we get too long, which we are, I can slide the whole transmary in, and that fixes it. The bow, if you remember, we measured from the deck, so it was measured from here to here, and then the bow went out and the stern went out. So the overall length's off, and so that's what, another reason to keep the center kind of, you know, all these sections here can be cut out to re- um, you know, fix the length. You know, especially on this on this boat itself, the um, the stern is all living quarters, which is kind of cool. So, I don't have to deal with that too much. It's gonna, you know, it doesn't, we're not gonna have to put a walk area back here so we can kind of sculpt the back a little bit because I don't have to worry about putting scuppers in or a bunch of stuff like that. And I don't lose the ability to put in scuppers. Uh, I could, uh, let's narrow this stern up a little bit here. The stern's a little fat for me. Let's, let's start cutting. Let's see if we can get some sculpting in there. The bow's nicely sculpted. I wanna cut the stern a bunch. Let's put a little bit of cool sculpting in the stern. We should be able to do it here. I'm at one by four, so we should be able to do it pretty. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. All right. There we go. That gives me a little sculpt in the stern there. Let's even sculpt out more on a couple one by twos. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Cause this is all living quarters here. It's not like I have to walk around, and so I have inverse it out for us. There we go.
There we go. That's good sculpt on there. I like that. That came out nice. It was a guy that I was watching him. He's a uh, he does clay, and so I kind of have I kind of do this myself as I do a um, subtractive style. So I build squares and then cut into them. That's kind of how I prefer to build. Is can't see the shape at first. I have to like make a big block and then chisel it out to where I want it. There we go. That's good. All right, good. And that's top of the, well, let's see how the, I'm going to put a rail line on this anyway. Nah, it doesn't have one. Let's see where they, they go back up here at some point. So we'll probably go, excuse me, grab the fucking thing. Ugh. So let's, I'm going to start trying to dress the stern here a little bit. So they have to get my angles right here. Go up, please. Jesus. I hate it when it doesn't drag for me. All right, so a little bit of line there. Let's go four, and then we want to go... Okay, so there's like a little bit of a walking area there. Let's go one more. I know it didn't have one more, but we'll go one more on it. There is a there's a back deck on this, but it's high. It's very high, so it's gonna be all the way up to here. Ooh, are you four? That's five. Oh. That's actually five's better. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, good. Five's actually better. We can put a flat um, rail on there. Let's put that in the water again. Field space out. I like the size. It's got a hole in it somewhere. Uh, let's see, where's my where's the hole at? Where are you at there? We got one there right there. Okay. I like the general size of this. I think the size is, is coming along nicely. So this is the main work area in the middle. You have the front, which you'll be able to walk into. The rear you'll walk into here. So probably actually have to raise that up to be able to get us to walk into it. So I need to measure that out a little bit better. But we're making good, good headway on this. Good progress. Um, so there's like a walk aisle here, so we'll probably make that three. Let's do some colored block here to kind of measure a little bit. That's uh, going to be walkways on either side. So this is going to be wall here. 
We'll work this space. Let's make it a uh, four wide with wall here. Okay. That goes into a walk area. And then we have to have, this needs to be, I'd say nine tall here. Then he's come up two. that eight inside, right? Usually don't build modern stuff, so this is a little bit more shapely than I usually build, which I kind of like. It's a little bit different. Let's uh, see where we want to do that. Let's go. All right, so now we're back to nine there. So that's full full length living quarters in the rear. And so that there's doors here to go into the living quarters, and then here you have uh, the main part of the ship kind of butts out, almost kind of almost kind of like a pirate ship feel here on. softer angles on this modern stuff which a little bit different than what I usually do
tuck in there. This does go higher, so let's go. that in the water for a sec. It's coming along. So I'll be able to walk in. Excuse me there, pink blocks. There we go. Um, be able to walk in there. There's the doors here. No doors in the front there. So the doors will be side doors in here. Bridge goes up above in the next level. So this will be an entry area here. And that's nine, so we can walk in here. This will be all area in here. And then we have the main working deck, and then there's some stuff up there, probably like net storage. Let's go ahead and check some chat. Nozzles, that's what it is. Nozzles, yep, couldn't think of the nozzles. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. It constricts the flow to give you increased uh, thrust. So, uh, it doesn't matter. I can see. I can see Twitch as well. It just takes. I'm gonna. I'm making a point to go back and forth because uh, that I can't see it on the regular one. How's it going there, Lucky Seventh? How are you? Again, if uh, if I'm a little slow on Twitch, it's because uh, restream's not showing them both places, so I have to manually check Twitch. So. But it's fine. I can, uh, I can still look at it. Yeah, I don't like to delete too quickly. I, I don't do a lot of quick commands because I actually want to kind of have it be a little bit slower and deliberate. Makes me think about what I'm doing. I get a little bit too ADHD where I'm moving too fast and I'll I'll screw shit up. So I got to slow down and that's one of the ways I slow down is not doing too many quick commands. Control S was the king, wasn't it? All right, good. So that is, um, let's fix the, so I think we're finally ready to fix the length here. Let me bring up Damon again. Uh, let us see. So 37.95, so we'll say 38's the max. I'll allow it. So we'll go to 38 on this. What's that? That is... 40 and a quarter. So I need eight, nine blocks off. Okay, good. Nine blocks are coming off. Right. One of the things I like the best about this game is this, this uh, select tool really allows, if you get good at it, really helps out a lot.
All right, so that is the new length. Perfect, that's gonna work. This can drop off. This is too big in the front now, so I can drop that uh, up a little bit. So we have plenty of room in the center. Again, you know, when I build ships, I recommend people, shit, I might admit, I, I'm gonna have to drop the, the bottom down just a hair. Um, let me measure in here. I screwed something up. I'm gonna need a fix. Let me fix it here real quick. What are we at now? 10, beautiful. Okay, so we only need, let's go to 11 on that. This is actually going to fix some other things I need to fix, too. So this is actually pretty good here. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that or game getting multiplayer. That'll be a lot of fun. All right, so what a lot of boats do that... Um, you know, where I see a lot of people have issues, and if they did it just the way that they did them in real life, they would fix a lot of that issue, is a lot of the boats, their lowest part of their boat is where they store their fuel and their oil. And so if you put that in the bottom, it um, it's great for ballasting, and it's under your feet. And so it's putting one of the heavier elements low anyway, and I find that really helps. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to fix here. See, we should be able to, we should be all right here. I, I might have to push that prop down again. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna push the prop down one anyway so that I can get this transom a little bit fatter. I wanna get that, fatten up this transom by one anyway. So let's go ahead and grab, oh, from here. A little bit more shapely stern as well. We all like, right? People get injections for shapely sterns. shape the stern up a little bit drop it down that's going to give us so i want to be able to put the um fuel underneath uh the floor and so uh, we're, we're at we're at 10 i'd have one block now we have two blocks so we can store a lot of stuff under there we can put a lot of ballast that way we're not looking at weight blocks so a bunch of that stuff's helpful let's just 
cut the shaft here. We don't need all that giggity. That's the new height. Yeah, again, the you know devs talk about the fish are going to be, um, you know, they're going to have different zones where they live, and so you know we may have to be able to we may have to go somewhere reasonably distant to get to fish. So something good to keep in mind that we want a reasonable. Um, we want to meet reasonable amount of fuel. We want some living quarters, stuff like that. So. What did I just delete? I have enough problems, like, accidentally deleting shit all the time, but I definitely don't want to use any quick command. <laughs> Cautiously deleting shit I don't want to delete. There we go. Ah, uh, you sucker. You sucker, you. There we go. All right, let's do a measure here. What do we got? That's a 10 banger. Beautiful. All right, right where we wanted it. So let's go. Nine banger there. All right, cut you. Ah, accidentally grabbed that. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Yep, uh, the f next deck up. All right, there we go. All right, so here's our underfloor storage for all our ballast and fuel needs. Like, that should be pretty frickin' big in there. And this will allow us to go in there and ballast the ship properly, so... You know, a lot of people try to, like, they, they try to model their ship after a perfect example of a real-life ship, and then they realize that it's not going to work in-game. You really have to kind of get after it in-game and be like, I want to make it square, I want more buoyancy, then I can weight block it, and then any changes I need to make, cranes. You know, we I don't know how heavy these fish are going to be. We have to worry about that. Uh, so that's 109,000 liter capacity in there, so that can be water, that can be fuel, that can be a bunch of different stuff. So, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so let's try something real quick. Let's go in here. Uh, we want to take a spawner. Okay, why is this? Is that not a spawner? Oh, come on. I'm already deleting shit. I don't want to. There we go. It's a fluid spawner. Why can't I click on you? There we go. Uh, let's do fresh seawater. All right, so that's got 109,000 liters of water in it. So you can see we have tons of buoyancy, which is good. So we can kill some of that with some weight block. We can kill some of that with some water ballast, fuel ballast. All those ballasts need to go in. So let's mark out fuel tanks. So the engine room is going to stop. Um, let's see. Okay, let's push this back a set here. So let's go. That will go right there. So let's finish this up here. And then we could... Let's, let's do a little bit of hull sculpting there just to give it a point of interest. So kind of make it look from the inside like the hull's being sculpted here. If you would just drag, I'd be forever grateful. Thank you. No, you didn't mean to do it. All right, there we go. Drag. And that's going to dick me there. That's fine.
me check uh, Twitch. Make sure I'm checking Twitch. I'll have to fix that tonight. See why that's doing it. Oh, glad, uh, glad you found that helpful there, Stonewall. That's just the legs. Looks like a little bit of uh, hull shaping between the bulkheads. This I gotta do. Yeah, this is why I try to build a little bit more square too. Is you know, you see how thick this hull is. That hull is right there. It's one block, and then we're adding another on there. So you're talking, you know, half a meter thick hull, um, where it would be, you know, much thinner than that. So, kind of build into that as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, what did I just do? Press F, press the F. Go. if I can get this to be a little bit more compact there. Let's see, yeah, let's compact this up a little bit here. See, I, I knock it up to the ceiling with these, so that's... Um, I have to run one shy. That's fine. A lot of these rooms I end up not really decorating anyway. They get, um, but you can cut bulkheads between them to get rid of some of this hull shape if you don't like it. All right, I'm gonna go on a coffee break here, guys. I just got an important call. I gotta call back and then, uh, yep. So we'll go on a coffee break and I will be uh, back in a moment. I can find it.
All right, I am returned. All right, excellent, excellent. Please catch up on chat. All right, so I think uh, we're making good progress on this. This is uh, coming along nicely. This is looking how I want it to look so far. I think this is going to be good and functional for what we need for multiplayer, especially. I've been kind of thinking of that the whole time is like we need to make sure that we can get done what we want to get done in multiplayer sessions. So all that's kind of important to me. So I'll make sure that gets done. You know, that's that's a big thing, I think, with this uh, fishing update that's going to really help with that. Yeah, it's, I think it's nice and cooperative. Like, uh, the mining is great. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun doing the mining. The only issue, I wouldn't even say it's an issue with the mining, is that it's, um, maybe I'll do one. Can I do ones on there? I think the ones are coming up short. Uh, the ones are coming up short. Let me look real quick. Um, you know, the mining's been good. It's it's just a lot of vehicles, so that makes it a little bit more challenging, and, and I can do it less frequently because of how long it takes to set up all the vehicles. This is a little bit more... Act. Let's see what the hell is that all about? Okay, yeah. You know, so uh, still be doing multi uh, mining stuff, but uh, this would be kind of a little bit easier. Like just go jump in the in the craft and do it. You know, where the um, mining, like it's taking me a while to get all the bu the v builds built and tested and everything else. So I think this will be just a little bit quicker with that as well. All twos the whole way down. Let's hopefully we stay on these twos for at least a while there. So let's do that. All right. We still on two bangers. I think we can still continue on two bangers here. Eventually we lose out. We have to switch over. Good, now we're down to uh, oneers. What is that about? Um, how did this not get done back here? You know, it's like in some of these sections here are meters thick. Well, not meters, but, you know, a, a meter thick because of the way that, um, you know, the game is. So it's uh, another reason why I build square. You build a little bit square, you just have a lot more space for that stuff. All right, and so likely where I'm going to cut in the bulkhead here is going to be... Right here off of this. So like we'll cut the bulkhead in right there. And then this is easy to hide with some, we can put a cabinet there or whatever I'm gonna put in there, but that does the bulkhead there. Gives a little bit of ship shape in here. All right, so let's ballast. Um, let's work on that. So the engines are gonna come up to this wall here, pretty much. Can I go one more? No, not with this, okay. All right, so the engines are gonna come up to a maximum here. 
So let's say fuel tanks. Okay, so generally, like, you want the center of buoyancy, the center of gravity, you know, stay the same. So you find that center of gravity. Let's find where the um, center point is. Again, so much of, like, anything, like boats, planes, cars, like CG and is, is important stuff. Uh, that is going to be 38. So, 19. Nineteen. All right, so that's center there. That's where we want the center. So we want it to come forward a little bit by two. All right, so that drops our CG, and we're still aft. Now, we also have to worry about the center of buoyancy. The center of buoyancy is going to be very much in the middle. So we got to consider that as well. So that's sitting pretty close to where we want it, a little bit low. You see it's sitting nice and flat now, so you can tell it needs a little bit of bow, love, Take some out of the stern and trim some overall. Okay. Little bow love, so we'll cut off there. Try that. We want, I would say, one or two blocks at max weight. Um, but one block under that water line is probably best. So a little bit stern needs to come out. So reason I do this, I weight it up now so that as I add things, engines, superstructure, all that, <coughs> I can move and subtract some of that out. Might have to bring the deck level up one. We'll have to see. Might have to do it um, based on... Um, when I add the superstructure, I'll put some superstructure in. In future games, what I like to see them do is uh, have like, you know, like uh, steel um, blocks and aluminum blocks, so you can do the multiple weights. So like, this is gonna get a bunch of superstructure here. This is gonna actually, that's not too bad. This front section. You look at the pictures here again. Yeah, my front section is a little bit too generous. Let's see what this message is here. Stand by. Gotta fix another permission here. I'm just, uh, I had to fix some more permissions on uh, Discord. So this is going to go up. That's going to cost us a little bit of buoyancy. So I think of that too. See how much I want to trim this out. Um, let's go uh, there maybe. That's one more than I wanted. Once this gets its rail too, we'll kind of know more what it's going to look like here. So let's cut it this at two more here. Let's go three. 
because I need to put stairs up there. So we could probably put a staircase on either side. And then this is gonna get um, gonna get rail on this. Doesn't really show a rail. Let me see if I can find some of the real pictures of this. Trying to see what the yeah, it's got a full on regular railing on on the on those pictures. Problem is, I can't do a rail with um, these angles, so I have to do regular blocks. So let's go. So I kind of want to get some more of this um, superstructure and everything in there so we know what the weight's going to look like here. And I'm not going to go back and bother screwing with the uh, length that's pretty close to where I want it anyway. It's going to be a little bit longer. Nice and shapely too, which I like. Go a second level of that. See how I like that. There, see how it feels standing up there. Okay, good, good rail height on that. I'm happy with that. All right. Notice that it was like that. Okay, I thought it was. I thought it at first it was too tall, and then I was like, no, it's not too tall. It is.
Yeah, it feels good along the rail there. We'll do stairs down, up and down there. Get the stairs built in. That's going to be, yeah, that, we'll go around the mast when I get there. Seven now. Seven. Keep putting holes in the ground, trying to grab that block. See how that feels. Still having no problems jumping myself. All right, there we go. Nice. All right, good. Silhouette. That still looks pretty good. But it's fuel tanks. Did I get that center of gravity where I wanted it? Not really. Like a little bit further forward. But we don't have too much buoyancy in the bow, so let's gotta be careful with that. Center is the most buoyant part, so I'm just trying to get it a little bit for further forward. Doesn't need to be too much. That's about perfect there. All right, that's it nicely. All right, let's get the fuel banged in.
All right, good. So we're up, up a little bit higher now because the, we don't have that, all that water in there. Let's see where we're at here. So that's about 9,000 liters. So we're going to want to go bigger than that. Let's see where we can go to here. Uh, we just want to equidistant the thing. See how far we can go forward to this bulkhead. That is 19. Go back 19. Where is that? Play with that a little bit. Float nicely. That's 18,000 liters. That should be good. All right, let's start working on shaping the bridge here. Continues this line up. So, I know how much more I'm going to be able to continue that line up. Let's see. If it goes up two, that's five with a window. Headliner. Let's try it. Trying to get the distance here on this. I want an eyebrow, so we'll eyebrow that out like that. A little bit low. Let's, let's go stand there, but I think it's coming in low. Yeah, they're coming in low. Oh, yeah.
Uh, why did I do that? It was supposed to be fours. Why is that not a function? Oh, because those are those are fours. I like fours. Screwed up here. I'm gonna fix this stuff in a minute here. Okay. A hole somewhere. Yeah, I punched a hole in. Yeah, I didn't seal it. Right there. The, the friggin' delete key. Accidentally pressing stuff. Alright, so that's high, so we'll put a little bit of a step up on that. It's fine. I could drop that on a nose. Trying to see how tall it is. It's about the height of where it should be. Let's 
So I'll put a little bit of a step up on the bridge, I think. Let's get some windows banged in here and just kind of start seeing what we're looking like here. Greg, the right arrow that I want to grab, thank you. These windows are a pain in the ass to figure out how to flip them right. Just get there. Oh, I actually go on the wider ones, but I think we're almost all right there. Nope, but I'm one too close. that could click down there like that. He had everything I wanted and then just one of those blocks. Oh, damn. Why can't you just like do everything, man? <laughs> Missed another one. What the fuck, man? I have problems here. Alright. I thought he clicked on in the first place, but I guess I didn't. Fucking still missing some. Jesus.
upside down windy on there. Go stand in there, see how that feels. Alright, so we'll step it up. Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring the glass up to fours, I think. Biggest pain in the ass. Uh, I can never figure out how to rotate these. There we go. Diamonds. They're always a bitch. It's backwards. I gotta fix it, but it's in there for now. Actually, I'm, I wanted them backwards. That actually worked out. All right. Stand on that again, see how we feel. There we go, that's that's better. Looking to squat before. Alright, good, and we'll come up a step on here and we'll make you know 
to a bridge step. Nice. Let's get a let's get a fix that. That looks good. We've got good sight lines here. Go ahead, just. Check some chat here. Yeah, like the problems we've been having in mining has not been, uh, you know, it's still been making it fun. That's like, you know, again, as long as it's fun, it's like, who cares if there's problems here and there, you know? Yeah, aluminum was fun. It'd be nice to get back into some of that. Um, and now the channel is going to probably be different. Um, hopefully try to get that Titus Mark II wrapped up. How's it going there, Zachy? So for the uh, new uh, major update, building a um, fishing boat. So this will be, we'll be able to do some multiplayer fishing. This is gonna be uh, for fishing nets. We're gonna put a set of straight lines in there like that. Little eyebrow on it. So the other thing that'll be neat too is we'll be getting some, you know not only some new parts but new things to like uh, you know the fish finder I doubt is going to be a block that is hey fish finder screen um, it's going to be likely you know something we're going to have to work on with um, Lua which is which is goob. So it's going to be fishing nets. Um, the people will be in the middle. So good view there. I, you know, I'll be using cameras too. But you can pretty much stand here on the bridge and see down there where everyone's working. So that's good. All right, let's keep working on this. Let's say.
trim that in a little bit there. I figure out how to trim this in. I'll do a mixture. I'll just do a mix here. a forward sweep on this yeah it's got a little bit of a forward sweep once it comes up here let's actually change this out to a fo um, forward sweep let's see if I have to cut here let's see if we can forward sweep this give this a look here we want to delete all that decking there let's get fix that there we go Doesn't have to be exactly how it is, but um, something close would be nice. It's a pain in the ass to get the railings in as well, so that's all right. We'll do hard railing on part of it. Yeah, it should be down here, though. That's the thing. Let's do it down there. Oh, come on. Delete a bunch of extra shit I don't want to delete, please. <coughs> Be hard railing, anyways. Let's see. It's pretty, pretty dramatic the change. That's pre it's pretty dramatic. I don't know. Let's see.
weird if I switch off the fours here. Not bad. Gives us some good texture back here too. These modern designs are funky. They can be funky. Ah, that's I want that doubled up. It's too thin. There we go. I like that. Yep, that looks that's looking good. Let's check. Uh, make sure I'm not neglecting the peeps on Twitch. Yep, same old people. Excellent. No, no comments. Let's uh, read some chat. Yep. Thank you, David. Yep, it always helps out if you guys like the stream. Also, uh, just to. You know, to announce again, if you guys have Amazon Prime, uh, you get one free subscription to somebody on Twitch per month. If you don't use it, you lose it. Um, it gives me a little bit of money, uh, helps support me, and um, it allows you to watch on Twitch without ads. So if you guys do have Amazon Prime, you're not using it on somebody else, and you like to use it on me, uh, I'd appreciate that. If not, it's okay as well. No breaks for your truck for the challenge. Have two days to sort it out. How's it going there, Dan Boss? How are you? See you later, Amanda. Yeah, I should have a galley. All right, good. So let's go and let's um, jump on board. Feel the spaces out. So seems like a good uh, copious amount of deck space. It's, it's hard to tell the proportions without getting up here, so... Should have plenty of room to get the nets in, net handling, um, the lines for that, and everything else. 
should be a door right there to go into here. Once you go in here, you've got a good bit of space in here. Good bit of space in here for living quarters. Um, down here is going to be nothing Lebowski. And then you've got various stuff in here. Engine room is going to be in the back. We'll have some other rooms down here. And then this is pretty much just... You can walk through here, but not going to be a ton in there. I might segment that out. I'm stuck in the build. Okay, great. All right, so now, again, this is what I recommend you do with these boats is, uh, as you can imagine, the center of gravity has shifted quite um, substantially aftward because uh, we put in um, you know, a bunch of superstructure here. So that's why I lay out the, the weight blocks first. So we should be able to come in here, cut some weight, and then uh, count for that. So, and we should be able to take some of that mass out of the ass. All right, now it's still sitting a little low in the ass, so we'll keep pushing that forward. So by putting that weight in early, you um, you make it so that you can kind of account for it later. People will not do that, and then they had superstructure, and they're like, "My boat's tipping over." So, yep, didn't account for it. So. Yeah, so you see the see how the bow is floating too high, so that means we can um, likely add some weight there in the bow as well. So, so what do we weigh? Twenty eight thousand. Yeah, so as that bow goes down, that will pick the stern back up. So. Not too bad. That's with full fuel as well. So we have full fuel on here. And if, if really need be, we have plenty of space to raise the deck up one level. So I can do that if I need to, but I don't think I'm going to need to. All right, let's put some doors in here so we just have some method to get in and out of all the different spaces. Do simulatory. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Let's do. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the friggin' door? Um, it's on its side, which is a little bit weird. We gotta bring up the ass a little bit there. All right, so this room's a little bit cramped in the ceiling. I don't mind that um, because it's, you know, it's, um, it's supposed to be like storage and everything else. So that doesn't need to be super tall. This, on the other hand, is living quarters. We want this to be 
comfortable to be in here. It is. There we go. Yay. Okay. Good in here. Good sight lines. Put some glass in the back, and I think we'll be good for bridge kind of layout. We run in there, right there. I have this window that I put down four times. Thanks. Appreciate that. Okay. Clicked right here and I drag straight down. Give me the block right where the fucking asked for it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Good dear. Alright, there we go. There. All right, I'm gonna look at some picks here. Let's bring up the, I brought it up in a while so you guys can see what I'm looking at. They're coming along pretty well there. Let's get some paint on. I like this paint scheme a lot. Let's get that on as part of the build where I kind of like to get that on. That really um, starts to get me interested in it. So. Do want to get a little bit of um let's see if we can get some more points in the ass here um i can i can do i can do uh points of glitch if i needed to i can also do half blocks to get some more points in here i've got a bunch of tricks up my sleeve to get more points in there if i need it so i won't, won't resort to glitches yet um let's see let's grab a go ahead and i'll get these put it right in the paint and we'll use the colors it has Save me some work. That is a dark red. We'll see how that shows up in game. That I'm not touching. That can go. That can go. I'm trying to be careful on the planes. I don't color a plane that I don't want to color. This is fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, flick your camera.
I really love when I have to click on something four or five times to just get it to work. That's really just my favorite thing in all the world. That is just so exciting when that happens. Ah, crap. Ah, whatever. We can fix that in a second here. I'll likely do it five, six more times, so it doesn't matter. I like the burgundy, I like the color of it. Let's see if it comes out in game alright. Thirty-four, thirty-four, thirty-four. All righty then. I like the shape, blindness of the bow. Now that is white. Uh, let's let's keep it white there. Mm. It's gonna be gonna paint block this up here for that angle. Block work. Always better to be avoided, but it'll look good when it's done.
and anything else is on that plane. Cool, like design detail here, but I don't know how to integrate it, so I'm kind of waiting on that. Let's see. Splitting headache right now. It's not helpful. Oh, uh, it just kicked right in. Wow, that's brutal. figure this out. I don't want to do that. But just chill out for now. The cat's going nuts. She's a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see. Got a good evil look to it, like it's an evil fisheries vessel. The other, like, if you need good uh, inspiration for some of this fishing stuff, the Damon um, scientific research vessels, a lot of those are fisheries research vessels. So they're all set up with nets, too. So if you're going to Damon's uh, research uh, vessels, they have a lot of, that's like, that's what Triton was based off of, was a uh, fisheries research vessel. And there's a, like a interesting detail point here. Let's bring it up. I'll have to figure out how to do it at some point. This is interesting here, this bit here, but I'll have to figure out how to do that later. Let's go ahead and see how I like the colors. That's pops. That's nice. The white's good. Uh, this new white that cuts it down so it's not blasting me in the eyeballs. If we can keep that white and it's good. The Red's a little bit muted, but it's not bad. Might brighten those up just a hair. See how I like them a little bit brighter. Let's go up 44. A little bit brighter and let's get you up. little bit brighter there yeah it's a little bit brighter it's got that good evil look to it so we like that all right let's try to get some I'm gonna wait this bow a little bit more I want to get that stern up 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 a little bit
we still have to put in some living stuff, but we're also gonna put some stuff in the front, like the cranes for the um, for the fishing equipment goes in the front. Or towards the front. You can still see the bow could use a little bit of weight there. There we go, that dipped the bow a little bit and we've got the sterns up more now. There we go, beautiful. Especially when the uh, when the, when the the props go and it's gonna be pushing that bow up, we're gonna have to put a stability system in there anyways, which expect. Let's get it, go stand on it for a second here. I think I'll work the mast next. They're grabbing me the entire time, little cat. Cat's like sitting on me, like grabbing at me the entire time. Those damn needles. All right, let's get this uh, mask going. Dude, stop. Stop. center, huh? Maybe two off the top there. We'll trim a little off the top there. Say go three on this. That's not gonna function well. there. Let's, let's paint that so I know what the hell I'm doing here. Okay, piss right off with that. Go like this, please. One, one spot right there. There we go.
line up here. This is going to be a pain in the ass to line up potentially, so. Got look. All the way down, please. All the way down. Don't stop. Jesus. It's tough to do these when it just stops like that. Fed the cat crack when uh, I wasn't looking. A little crackhead. Don't appreciate. Somebody did that to the cat. That annoys me a pain in the ass. Probably because his picture is not up. We'll put his picture up so you be, be quiet. on it too. It's got like dual level wings on it. Kind of interesting. I'd say maybe there. Very modern of a design. You just drag a line straight to save your life. My God. Can I drag a line straight? It's me. I guess I must put it in the wrong spot. That's too slow here. Finally. Look, I was giving up and then it, then it dragged.
should do two, is it? No. Gotta be a, gotta be a two by at most. Flick the camera more, why don't you guy? that up. It's a big part of the paint. Cat's back to try to aggravate me. Daddy, you are look like you're content and not having problems. Would you like me to change that? It's nowhere near where I'm supposed to be eating, but I would like you to feed me anyway. That's generally his his line of reasoning. Give me the black color, my god. Flick four times on everything, and it takes me forever. Tell me where to put it. Gotcha. There we go. Look good. Look good. Look good. That added a lot of weight. Why is it sitting so freaking low now? See how low it's sitting? Jesus. drop it that much hmm. yeah can't loaf next to me all right please go somewhere else for a little bit let's uh go another le level down here yeah, let's do that Overall buoyancy up. Yeah, 
know, it gotta be difficult, huh? It gotta be difficult. Uh, let's see. That's gonna be more than that. It's gotta be four. It's multiplied out four times on that one. again. to just redo that whole bottom level anyway. Yeah, it's not bad. It's off just a little bit here, but not very much. Yeah, I guess that's where it starts. Okay, that's that's fine. We're just cutting this last. How far off is this working? I can't even see it at the moment. Nope, it's quite a bit off. Okay. That's all fucked up here. That's fine. Let's redo this section. Shrink in one. It's got quite a bit of uh, superstructure on it. So. A little bit more buoyancy for all that superstructure we just put on. still do things too like put in half blocks when I need to but I'm trying to like get it without doing too much tomfoolery at the beginning so I'm just gonna delete and redo this area that is a bit screwy now. Not the end of the world, but oh, a pain in the ass there. So fucking much. Mm -hmm. Let me fix this this way. I see what I have to do. That's where it's that's where it's screwed up. Uh, right there.
productive to what I'm doing, but let's see. Let's play with it. That extra level here that dicks me. Yeah, and it is the uh, it is the friggin' back. It doesn't matter. I, I'm gonna have to cut this down because this has to then match up right. So that's not a big deal. I just gotta do it. take points out of the uh, stern which is right where I need it but um, see how much does it and I can always back it all the way up if I need to so. I just run it. I'm gonna run it on there, so it will be good. It's hard to tell this red's so dark, I can't really see for shit when I do it.
but it is kind of nice to have a little bit thinner of a uh, stern on this. We'll see how it affects it. I can always, I do have the glitch available to me that I can use if I need it. So. I don't think I'll probably need it, but um, we will see. I've got plenty of other things I can do to work it. This area is tough to redesign from here. I'd rather not get into it, but that's a tough area to fuck with. It really is. Um, I do not have any. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I, I've got a. I've got something I can do to make that work. <laughs> See how it matches up. It's a pain in the ass. Back it up. This helped me hear that little changeover area. There. Oh, it's frustrating when it's not going. I'm going to cut into this here and we'll see what the hell it's doing. Oh, stop it. Just delete what I want, not what I'm clicking on. Make sure I'm matching this right here. Or some trouble here. All right, good. I can match that up. Right, what's that? A three, three. What's that? That's the. I can't see this. This dark's too dark here. Drag for once in your life, just drag the block, please. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna drag like shit the rest of the day.
little bit of sculpt, another sculpt in there. Going to fatten up some of this and thin out other parts. So. Should give me hopefully a little bit more buoyancy in here. Screw with this again here. Join that up better. Really didn't want to redesign the whole ass of it, but uh, we're doing it. gonna be trouble there. All right, I'm just gonna work it out. Oh, stop deleting random shit again. Delete what I want, not what I'm clicking on. There we go. Arr. Yep, there we go. Stop moving, shit. Jesus. Hey, boy, where it is. Drag, 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 fucking drag, fucking drag. Find some disparate corner that I can drag it to to get it to actually do what I want. Fine. Yeah, it can be a it can be a pain in the ass sometimes if you get them where you want them, but um, probably get off in a little bit here. I got a splitting headache. It's not helping it out. Finish this up again and then probably take a break. I just delete like random shit just keeps getting deleted like I click on something eight times and it won't take it and then other times it's like instantly like here this thing you don't want here have it so, oh my God. that's good let's leave that Dashing the ass a little bit there, which should help with buoyancy. I went ahead and did this because I'm figuring that we, um, you know, I still got to add a bunch of mass in here, a bunch of like decorations and stuff in here, which can add mass in the sterns. I wanted to pump that uh, mass up a little bit. So push the ass back quite a bit, so we should be able to um, get some extra buoyancy in there. Fucking camera is driving me nuts, too. Okay, there's twos. Do it 
there. Okay. That's the new ass, and we dropped the whole level down one. So let's repaint and see how it floats. could leak over onto a different plane that I don't want it on, so. the uh, water line. Don't do that. Stop doing that shit. Give me the red, please. I've already clicked on it once. Alright. A little too painful going back and reworking that. Please float. Sitting low here. Do a quick measure on some stuff here, real fast. Uh, I gotta make sure. Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. Never mind. I have uh, I script fuel tanks. So the fuel tanks are filling the entire bottom with fuel. So that's why we were so low. That would do it. Um, that was completely filling us with fuel. So probably had 100, 200,000 liters of fuel in there. So uh, it's, Come on, dude. Stop dragging this thing fucked up. Great. There we go. All right. All right. So that's better. That was uh, probably putting 200,000 liters of uh, diesel in the, in the belly of this bitch. up a little bit all right let's grab off some we've got pretty well we still have to add a bunch of decoration stuff but we've got uh, we can pull some more weight out of here and i still have a bunch of tricks up my sleeve to get this to work so if need be let's cut all this shit out i think we're good for a little while for cutting weight Alright, so yeah, it could force some more weight in the bow to, to tilt that stern up a little bit. Worst case, again, I go to, uh, I do, um, the, uh, mass glitch. Or the, um, what do you call it? The rocket glitch. Where are we at for a center of gravity? I want to push that forward, so let's go ahead and let's take this wall of fuel. And where are we at center-wise? Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit more aft than I'd like it. Let's go to, Cap's gonna get on my last nerve here. Just keeps like jumping on me and bugging me. Why are we upside down? Uh, let's see, right there. Let's put it right there. Come on, dude, dude, drag straight down. Straight, straight down, like right here, man. Right there, there we go. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Want the fuel to be right center of gravity so as it burns, it doesn't cause us to tilt one way or the other. All right, so that's much better. You can see the water line in the stern is coming up. Still have a bunch of extra, like, we've got a lot of ballast in that, uh, a lot of air in that bow, so. I, I can't take the flicking camera anymore. I really can't. It's bugging me to death. It really is. What is that about? Uh, 
Let's shift some more weight. Bow's got a lot of uh, buoyancy because of that huge enclosed area there, so that's helping out a lot. So a lot of this weight shift here is for that superstructure. It's a pretty large superstructure, so I'm just going to no-clip around it and see what it's doing. All right, good. So that's we've got red line. I want that red line, so I want one block around, and I kind of... The bow should probably be down a little bit more, even more, because the propeller is going to push the bow up. So by naturally having the bow a little bit heavy, it helps to counteract that propeller business. So let's keep working on that. we got to put masts and a bunch of stuff in here, but we also have to put stuff in the, in the back too. So keep doing a mass shift here. go crazy because I'm sick of having to keep redoing it. Let's try to get it on this one. See if we can't get that mass shift in there on this one last try here. There we go. That's a lot of air ballast in there. Now we've got a lot of focus in the rear for the superstructure living quarters <clears throat> nice that's just sitting really nicely now see so yeah, how we got a about an extra block there on the deck that gives us a lot of play room it's, and we still have a lot of weight in there so as we add things in there we can uh, play with it two cylinder five by five now i don't have a five by five on literally anything no five by fives See, no, no use for a 5x5, five five, frankly. Good size, though. This is going to be a good size for uh, multiplayer as well. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a good size. This is, should be easy enough to move the nets into the center section. I was kind of worried about, like... How's it going to work with the game getting the nets in the center section? I think we're going to be all right. So we're going to have a big mast. Let's bring up the picture here. Big mast in the center here, and then it has two masts that will go overboard. And if we look at the – let's look at the – let's look at the update. Did they finally put the update on Steam? I think they did. Yeah, they did. Okay. Amanda flying. So, like, you can see the masts. So, this is kind of like what ours is going to be like is the, um, this one here. It's going to have uh, the masts in the middle go out off that center section and then drag nets. The nets aren't going to be connected. They're going to be connected to themselves. So, likely what will happen is each of those masts will have a spreader bar like this. And it will drop a spreader bar so it's two nets being pulled instead of this one as the same net. These would come together and then it pull the net up on the back. You can see that with this picture, the two nets come together, pulls it up on the back. Uh, the way that the uh, beam trawler works is it's going to have essentially two of these, where it has a spreader on the left side, and the, it spreads one net out here. And then on the right side, it has a spreader bar, and it spreads the other net. And so you have two independent nets that get dragged at the same time. And then you'd bring that mast into the center drop the net down, empty the fish, bring this one in, drop the net down, empty the fish, put them back out. So that should be good. Let's catch up in chat here. Uh, engine's probably going to be, I'd say, a three, four-cylinder, um, three by three is what I'm thinking, something like that. Like, for example, to put it in perspective, the Damon T-800, which is a tanker that holds 400,000 liters of, um, of fuel, has two, uh, it has two two-cylinder 3 by 3s And it goes, whatever it goes, like 13 knots, something like that. How's it going there, uh, Roboman S, Roboman 5E15, how are you? All right, so that's, that's uh, working pretty well there.
So I'm kind of thinking of how these, how the masks and everything are going to work. So like, let's, I'm just trying to get proportions right here. Yeah, that's definitely the regular mast is the is the second highest thing in there. The booms are going to be about the same height as the main mast. The main mast is there. It will have oh Jesus Christ, we got two of them in there for some reason. All right, there's the main mast. Main mast is going to have winches that will draw up the two booms. The booms will come up. They'll actually probably the pivots will actually run them. Uh, that's just going to make them work a hell of a lot better. And then, um, yeah, so those will go up and draw them to the center. So it's coming along nicely. I like the shape. Shape came out nice. General spacing, uh, the space of it feels good. Figure out what I'm going to do in that. I want to add, that actually is a reasonable way to add mass. Let's see how low the center of gravity is. It's a little bit on the high end still. But engines are going to help with that. Let's just bang an engine in there. Let's get a rudder in there. I want to get make sure all the functional... Oh, yeah, we'll have no problem putting a rudder in there. The cat can't, like, not be annoying today. What? What's he doing? Three segments. Okay. See how this works with um, having one of them. I usually do dual wings, so we'll see how that behaves itself with with the lift and the wing segments. We'll go test it. We'll give it a quick test run. See how it does. Five clicks to get the color that I want. Yes, it is. actually like the first time in a long time I've had a looks like the drive shafts actually gonna be where it's supposed to be like usually you have to contort them First time that's lined right up in a long time. Right there, all right. 
center of gravity. Yeah, see, I, the fuel's not where I want it. I gotta move, dick around with the fuel. I'll do that later. the stack in this that's what i want to know it's got to be out the um it's got to be out the mass somewhere around there you can't see on the diagrams the diagrams are kind of crap so do not see it so i'm kind of wherever i want but Which hat? Yeah. Yeah, I can't get the angle exactly how it is in there. It's a, I might just continue with the 1x2s. I guess I could do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably could do the 1x2s. I'll fix it later. It does look a little funky. Don't like the bend myself. Where are we at here? We're right in here. Okay.
Uh, of course you are. I don't need that anymore anyway. Hook that fuel in. Let's get a quick micro in there and get that going. Let's save this. Have I saved it yet at all? No. Just playing Tarkov here? Just have the caps lock on in Tarkov. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's bring in... Module engine boat tutorial to convert the engine into a boat. I'm going to put a reverser gear on there so we have symmetrical reverse. Helpful. There, camera. Accelerate yourself to the moon, why don't you? That one's already preset, huh? Forgot that was a helm on there this time.
should be all set to go. Electricity. Bet dollars to dog shit that the rudder is backwards. That's what it usually is. And I always have to flip it. Alright, right turn. Okay. I maybe I don't didn't want to look in third person then. Can I hook it up? I gotta hook it up. Okay. I hooked the other one up, that's why I thought I hooked it up. There we go. Yep. Backwards. Always. Never do I get it on the first try. Never, ever, ever. So that's good. Get a crank out of the sucker and get it going. Should put a linear in there. Linear need electricity? I can't remember. Merged the microcontroller, it did. Right. Electricity going through all the shit, all the starters and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Battery. Reverse radiator fan starters. Okay, you can plug them in, huh? There we go, that'll do it. Currently we're doing, that's not too bad actually. Let's see where we're at here. The regular speed of this goes 11 knots. So we're currently on uh, 11 knots. We're going 12 knots, we're going 12.8. So we're going the speed that it should be going. So six point, what did he get, 6.6, .6? yeah, so 12.8. So we're exceeding by a knot. Probably speed it up a little bit, but we are going the speed this would go, so. Make sure that it turns fine. I have to like put in some trim there. So you, I need to limit this to 50%. It only works at 50% 50, 50 or less. That's turning nicely. All right, good. Pull that back. So I usually try to do like 20% more, so like 13, 14, if we can get 15 knots out of that, I would say that's probably a little bit more convenient for going distances. Where the hell is that? Over right there, 15. I didn't see what, it was not doing 15, so. I need to go down there, check the RPS of this see where we're at because likely it's probably um, a little bit a hair overloaded so down gearing would make me go a little bit faster actually I didn't uh, no it's, it's it's leveling out where, it, where I had set it right. let's go down there and look at it definitely not doing 15 RPS. So. It 
10. Yep, okay. Go ahead and drop some ratio on that. Um, let's see. We're at here. Twelve. Okay. Let's dump two more cylinders. Let's make it a six. I'm gonna keep the RPS on the low end here. The benefit of the modular. Oh, stop. <laughs> Differential between us, like, being full and empty is really not all that much, so the, um, don't need it really down-geared all that much. All right, so there we go. We're good on that. That's 8. Say 1. That's 15.74 knots, so that's a good speed. Again, the real one goes 11. We're going you know, approaching, you know, 40 to 50% more, so It's not not too shabby that. Steers pretty well. I'm not going to put in a bow thruster. I don't think. Yeah, the bow's, the bow's on the thick end, so putting in a thruster is going to be a, a pain in the ass to find a spot to cut through. Like, I can't think of a good spot to cut through here. Like, I might put a bow thruster tunnel in right here, maybe. Like, it could go there. That's not terrible. How's the regular medium? Do not even see it. Did they get rid of it? No, I don't think they did. Yeah, to get a three in there is gonna be a pain in the ass. Let me just somewhere put it somewhere so I can actually just take it. Thanks. One B now. Uh, 
That seems awfully far forward to stick it up there, yeah. Let's do here. Let's get the music on. Bow thrust is in. Oh, come on. I need symmetry now. Cut it off right when I need it. Bow thrust is in. There we go. We got that. Speed's good. I think, uh, I think it's pretty damn good. So, not too challenging to get this thing whipped into shape. Uh, let me ch quickly check, and then I'll get it. I'm gonna get off the. Um, I want to see what the RPS is uh, when we're at full throttle. But I think it came along. Um, yeah, it came along well. Uh, general shaping's done. It's going to need, um, you know, again, we've got three weeks to work on this. I don't want to burn myself out and try to do it right too fast. So, um, you know, bridge work takes time, you know, put some state rooms in. I have some state room stuff that's pre-done, so that can go in. A little bit of balancing work. Stability system goes in real fast. That gets pulled off a bunch of other builds. Like, literally, I can pull it off one of my tiny little boats. Again, you know, like somebody was arguing in the comments, you know, I'm like, just put a stability system on your boat. You know, they're like, the real boat shouldn't do this. It's like, dude, again, they've said multiple times. It doesn't make any sense. It's a game. Yeah, it'd be great if we had steel blocks and aluminum blocks and we had styrofoam blocks and we had all these things that we could have anything we wanted and make it perfectly work within real life. And then they spent every hour of their waking lives tuning the game to be precise and exactly the way it is. Or you could just... Put some fins on like everyone else and have a boat that works the way you want it to work. You know, so it's like this fantasy that um, is just kind of silly at some times. It's like, you know, we can have what we want. We can have airplanes and we can have boats. And because of that, but because we can have both, you know, we have to have the blocks light enough that an airplane can fly with what a boat is made out of, you know. And so it's just like you can whine about it all day. You're just 
like play the game. It's not challenging. I could I could understand if it took you four hours to figure this out, but like my my stability tutorial is very short. Like go watch that if you have any problems, and you'll quickly realize that yeah, in five minutes you can have this this thing done. And uh, so that's that's kind of my whole thought process on that. It's like it's pretty easy to do. You know, the tutorials are out there. Oh, you got your done your uh, truck done good. Yeah, just uh, keep in mind, everybody, it's very clear in the rules. You need to have a picture of the inspired build. Please make sure you follow the rules. I'm just going to start cutting uh, cutting and disqualifying if they're not following the rules. Um, you know, so just, just make sure you're following the rules there. You've had ample time to read them, and uh, I don't think that, you know most people are going to have any issues. Let me make sure real quick what the speed is. All right, we're doing about the 8. 0.2 knots there between 8 and 8.2 well meters per second so it's about 15 16 knots 7 rps beautiful so that should be no problem to cool uh that should be fine we should be able to cool this at 7 rps that should be fine uh this should be nice and fuel efficient that whatever it is 18,000 liters whatever i put in here at the end of the day uh 21,000 liters of diesel um that should be perfectly fine like we're using about one two liters per second so Let's say 21,000 uh, divided by 2 is going to be 10,500 seconds divided by 60. That's 175 minutes divided by 60. That's going to be uh, just shy of 3 hours of fuel at, at full throttle. So 2.91 hours of fuel. So uh, plenty of fuel, you know. And you think what uh, – so the other thing, too, is, again, you know, I talk about how, like, you know, there's a reason why things are less fuel-efficient in game is we make more money than we would IRL, so we need to have more costs than we have IRL, or else you're sitting there with $15 million being a paper boy, you know, so, uh, you know, you need to have something that, some, you need you need money sinks in game, that's like with Tarkov, you've got money sinks like buying containers and stuff like that, it gives you a reason to go out and raid, because, you know, if you have $2 billion, eventually you get bored, if you... Or if you're like, oh, crap, I'm low on money. I need to go raid. It um, it gives you some incentive to go out and do stuff, you know. So it's going to give us incentive, for example, to go chase some more expensive or more uh, profitable fish because, you know, we know that – let's figure the burn rate. Uh, let's say two liters per second. So every minute we're talking 120. Um, did I do the math right? I think I did the math for it. Uh, let's say we're doing 120 liters per minute times two. That's $240 per minute. Right now, what's a fish net us? Three? Three bills? A hundred bucks. So each fish nets us a hundred bucks. So, uh, you know, we have to catch. Uh, we had to do $240 uh, dollars per uh, minute. So every minute we need to catch 2.4 fish at the current. I'm out in nets. So as long as we're catching 2.4 fish per minute, we are break even on fuel. You know, and this thing is going to haul in huge quantities of fish. So we shouldn't have a problem there. Um, I'm kind of hoping the money, the amount of money you get per fish goes down. It would not surprise me if they did, um, you know. Okay, so you're going to probably get people complain that, oh, my God, they made the fish 10 bucks. It's there's no point to rod fish anymore. Yes, there is for fun because you like to rod fish. Also, you're a brand new player. You just started your save. You need to make up a little bit of money. You catch, you know, you can you can catch some fish. Um, but again, it's it's the main point is for fun. The problem is you now have, um, you know, you now have the ability to go out there, drop nets, and potentially catch hundreds of fish quickly. Well, if you're catching hundreds of fish quickly, you then need to be able to. Um, you know, you, you can't rake in $400 million in 10 minutes of fishing and be like, oh, well, what do I do now? You know, so there's going to have to be a balancing thing. So you'll see some people will probably complain that if it goes down, that that's an issue. It's like it has to, you know, uh, the guy fishing, throwing a rod out in the water who like is standing on the shore, throwing a rod out in the water should not be making as much money as the guy who has a huge 38 meter long uh, fishing vessel with six people on it. You know, that's basic economics, right? You know, pretty basic economics. 
And so, uh, you know, you need an incentive to want to take out this big, huge, expensive boat is because you can go out there and get a lot of fish. And so there's going to have to be a balancing pass, you know, on that at some point. Let's like, let's say we go out and we catch a thousand fish, right? Uh, you know, you're talking that's 10 current fish prices, you know, um, you know, so that starts to get you in the area where you're starting to um, have to figure out how much fish. The other thing I'm curious about is the hopper com capacities. I think, the, what are the big ones? 250, 225 per big one, I think. I think it's 225. So at two, 225, you know, see how much how much fish we can carry. Those hoppers are heavy. I got to put them in. That's not a big deal because what I'll do is I'll put them as low as they can go. And what I'll do is I'll put a vacuum system in. And so you'll dump them at at the top in a very thin layer of uh, small hoppers and then they will duct down to larger capacity hoppers way down low in the build so it keeps the center of gravity low. The other thing too is as you notice we're sitting on the ass a little bit now that's because the, pro the propeller is pushing us up once we get stability system in there that won't happen anymore plus the hopper system is likely going to go toward the front here right here so the main mast is here as the nets come in towards the center the hopper at least the mouth of the hopper will be here and then the ducts can carry them wherever uh you tend to, you're gonna want the fish near the center of gravity well the fish i don't think are necessarily add any weight if the fish don't add any weight it doesn't matter but in in real life the fish would add you know many dozens of tons and so you'd want to put that at the center of gravity so that you weren't listing port starboard or listing uh, bow stern. So, But I'm liking this. Let's take a look at this real quick. Came together pretty well. Um, I'm happy with its current, um, how it's looking. Going a good speed. I'm really happy with the way the hull turned out. I think we're going to have a good ship for uh, multiplayer here. I think it's going to be good. And we still have good, you know, three weeks essentially. So it should be able to get all the systems in there. You know, maybe we'll take it out for a little test multiplayer at some point. We'll just go do rod fishing, but, you know, just see how everybody likes, um, feels in the boat. Bunch, I <laughs> did myself a little dirty on all the, um, on all the uh, paint blocks I'm going to have to put in there, but it's not too bad. There's just some forward, forward aft there in the corners. Uh, it's not too bad, but um, I'm liking the general look. What are you guys thinking about it? I think it, it turned out well. I think this was a good design to choose. I'll put something in. We'll put some storage in there. I'll have to see what the real boat has. There's not good data on it uh, with that schematic. You can put some staterooms in here. Uh, that'd be easy to hide that wall texture galley um, in here. Put a staircase probably here going up. Let's see where that comes up. Yeah, staircase right there probably. Maybe um, in the back wall here. So you come up under the windows maybe. I'll uh, do that. And then, uh, yeah, that, that should be good. Or maybe I'll even take this door out, put the staircase here, and then you'll have one entry-exit door. But a little walk-in space back here. You know, like I could get out and kind of like watch what's do go going on there better. Probably put a little ladder up to the top. But yeah, looking pretty good. You know, so I think it's going to be a good uh, foundation for some really fun stuff in-game. You know, I think they, uh, you know, the way, like, if you, if you go back, or go back and read now with hindsight. Uh, let's hold on. I, I, somebody just put you. Can pivots create a leak in the cabin? I got two in the cabin sides. Yes. Or windows. Uh, the pivots can certainly create a leak. Yep, absolutely. Yep, yep, yeah. Pivots can cause a leak if you don't seal them up. You gotta make sure it's sealed. Uh, Best way to do it is put in a uh, liquid meter and see if it reads a positive value for the capacity. If it reads zero or negative for capacity, it means that it is empty. But uh, yeah, like I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, dude. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun playing um, with this. You know, I think we got a good boat here. Um, you know, I have no stability system on. Let's just kick some wind on for the fun of it. See what happens. Um, you know, again, if, if you follow kind of some fundamental principles of building, you know, you don't need too much to make this work. You know, like th those people who complain about like they have to actually do something to make it work. Um, you know, it's like, you know, what do you think a real engineer has to do to make a ship work? You know, 
I think the wind's screwing with our engine a little bit, but like we're not flying. Again, you know, if you make your thing weigh enough, like a lot of people want their boats to weigh like 5,000. It's like, dude, you gotta put some weight blocks in there. You know, put some weight blocks in there. You know, this thing weighs 30,000. I've got no stability system on here. We're not flying. The boat's not coming out of the air. You know, I'm at 100% wind. You know, we're doing all right. You know, we've got a little bit of wash over the deck, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's kind of nice and it's actually refreshing. Put some scuppers on the deck there. But I like the general shape. It does look like a freaking witch's hat, though. That's going to get straightened out a little bit. The angles change very, very tiny bit, like maybe like five degrees at most. Um, and so we've got a big degree change on that. So, so yeah. Just seeing if there's any more chat here. All right, guys. I think we'll finish up there. Got a splitting headache. Um... That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it kind of sucked that the uh, Discord got hit with that bot. Again, bot's going to happen. Uh, he's talking about a lot of the really big um, Discords that I follow that have thousands of people on them. Uh, I still get messages of the bot attacks. You know, um, just kind of chill out when it happens. Don't click on the friggin' link. Again, if you're getting the message, right-click on the... Here, I'll put it, bring it up. Right-click on any Discord that you're a member of, right? Right click on it, go here to notification settings, go to suppress all roles and mentions or suppress at everyone and at here. So if you want to see the roles, leave it selected. If you want to suppress at everyone and here, which is what a lot of the bots use, I've selected it. There should be no uh, at everyone's allowed in any channel. It default sets them to that. So some of the channels that I didn't go back and fix before, uh, they, were, they were the ones that were working for them. So now no channel has at everybody or at here. So uh, you shouldn't get the message. But again, if you see a message like that, I got one from, uh, from uh, what do you call it here, Nubifier. He's a Star Citizen uh, content creator. I got one from him the other day, and guess what I did? Mark red. See you later. That's it. Don't click on it. All you have to do is mark that red and don't go there. Uh, I got one from Stankrat. Stankrat's one of the bigger... Um, Tarkov streamers that popped up on his the other day. The bots are out. Uh, Discord will be behind them and eventually come out. The um, the auto mod has been on for months. It's just what what do you think happens? It's a it's an arms race. The they can't, the the auto mod stops their shit, so they say okay, well this is how we get around it now. So they keep testing until they find a way to get around it. And then they hit everybody at once to get around it, and then. Everybody fixes their stuff, and then they'll find another way around, and you'll get another one. So it's not the end of the world. Just chill out. Right-click report so that uh, Discord will take action on them as well. And then the second I see them, I just right-click ban and delete all their messages, and it's gone in seconds. Yeah. Try not to go too hardcore on there where, like, for example, you have to have a cell phone registered with uh, Discord. You know, that's the other option people do. So you have to be uh, cell phone verified to even be able to be on the Discord of somebody. I don't want to do that, so I'm trying to avoid that. But, uh, yeah, exactly, click the link. Yeah, don't click the link. You know, I've got my, my Discord set up, so it should give you a message that, you know, warning you, don't click the link, you know. Uh, it, it, it already auto-modded out some people last week that tried, and it booted them right off the bat, you know, so... It's, uh, I'm not the only one that's having this issue. I'm just So, relax. All right, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.